This boy Souza boy tell him right now I'm logged in checking out Kiwi Box. Oh my god. Hey everyone, this is Steven with KiwiBox.com and today we are talking with the one and only Soldier Boy. What's going on? What's good, what's good, homie? Nothing. Um let's talk about your most recent album, the one that's coming out, I Soldier Boy. Your last album, Soldier Boy Tell was a huge hit. Now you're coming out with I Soldier Boy. I, I noticed the trend in uh, technology themes and the titles. Why did you choose to name the, the albums in this way? Yeah, I wanted I wanted to entitle the album I Soldier Boy because of right now, you know, this is what we're living in. We're living in the, the years of, you know, advanced technology. You know, technology is starting to be a big part of everyday life. You know, it always has been, but now it's really, especially in the music industry. You know, it's like all about the the internet sites, the blog sites, what's going on on YouTube and MySpace with with artists and how they connect with their fans. So you know, I felt like I Soldier Boy was a perfect title to drop. You know, around this time. We a lot's changed since your last release. Like you've made a lot of new friends, obviously, and done a lot of work with with other artists. Did you ask any of them to return the favor on this album? Yeah, because um. Really, uh, like I don't look at it like that. I just look at it like who I want, who I want to work with. You know, like I produced Bow Wow's first single for his next album called Marco Polo. So I said, uh, you know, I was like, go ahead and hop on, you know, my project. So you know, I got Bow Wow on Sean Kingston. Like people, everyday people who I work with, you know, Chris Brown. Like when we did the tour, um, A Rail, he was on the last album, still on this album. Basically, you know, like people who 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 I really. Who I who I really be in contact with, you know, just like like people who will make the record big, just like you know my real friends, you know. I told you boys coming in November, as is your cartoon. Um, does the cartoon have anything to do with the album? Yeah, well, well actually it doesn't, but we're gonna incorporate the cartoon with the album, you know, leading up like it's gonna be everything leading up to the album, which like. I got my shoe deal with Young's, which was my Soulja Boy shoe releasing. Then I got my Soulja Boy album releasing, and then building up to the cartoon releasing. So we like it's like everything is like building up in, in anticipation of, and all of this will drop around the same time. So it's just gonna be like Soulja Boy fever. Where can people check the cartoon out when it drops? When the cartoon drops, it's actually coming out on Cartoon Network. So you, if you want any information on it, you can go to www.soldierboytellem.com and you can get all the information from the website on the cartoon when it's releasing, who will be the characters, you know, what times can you catch it, if you can get it on iTunes. You know, all the information will be there for you. Wait, what inspired you to make a cartoon uh, in addition to all these other things that you're doing? Um, Because... This is what I could manage to do without taking up too much time. I was I was going to do the movie, but that would have took out of time for me touring to promote my first album. It would have took out me time from recording my second album. It would have took out a lot of time for me, you know, getting the shoot deal done, the design finished. It would have took out too much time, so I couldn't I couldn't do the movie. I had to I had to turn down the movie. So I was thinking like I, I could do a TV show. And if I did a reality show, it wouldn't really take up no time. But I didn't want to do a reality show because, like, it's just, like, the basic thing to do is, like, come out with a reality show. It's like, nah. So, like, let's do a cartoon then, you know. So I, I got to talking about it more. And I was like, will it how much time will it take up out of my schedule? And it won't take up that much. So I was like, well, let's run the cartoon then. Yeah. So you have all these things going on, and you're doing really successful. But a lot of your fellow rappers seem to be targeting you these days, like, you had the whole thing with Ice T just happen. Why do you think they're coming at you specifically? Me specifically because the type is the, the artists that who are coming at me is like people who don't like the type of music that I create, you know, which is like down south dance music, down south party music, down south swag music. And basically I'm the leader of that right now. Like I was the I had the biggest record out of all the down south hits, you know. And they they talk like I'm a target, you know. I'm doing too much. I'm making too much noise. I'm doing production for a lot of artists in the game. I'm doing like I, I'm producing for Hot Styles. You know they got their single out, Looker Boy. I'm producing VIC. He he did get sales. I'm producing Bow Wow's first single, and like I'm winning awards and I'm doing TV shows and doing shoot deals and I'm, my album went platinum. 
and it's like I'm on top, like I'm doing too much, I'm making too much noise, so now I become a target. You know what I'm saying? Once you're on top, that's what you become. You become a target for everybody who's around you or everybody who's under you. And basically, that's where I stand right now. Are you surprised about anyone that's come to your defense in the wake of this, um, uh, of all these people attacking you? Well, ain't nobody really been attacking me except Ice T. You know, and um, Kanye West came in my defense with that, you know, with that one problem. But basically, you know, he he just understand where I'm coming from. You know, so the word tell them to some people, they they misunderstand. You know, misunderstood to them. Yeah, true. So you just entered the partnership with Yum Shoes. You have your shoe line coming out. What initially attracted you to their kicks? You said what? <laughs> what you say? Oh, I'm sorry. I. You just entered the partnership with Yum Shoes. Um, what initially attracted you to their kicks? In, uh, oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, I was on the Chris Brown tour, right? Me and Bow Wow. And we was in Dallas, Texas. And I did I did a song called My Dougie uh, with Little Will. And he had, he was wearing the shoes. I asked him, like, where he get the shoes from. So he got me in contact with, with the dude. And I got to talking with him. And I, I was like, man, let's, let's do a deal, you know? Let's do this deal. So we did a deal. Like two weeks later, you know, I promoted. I was promoting the shoes on one hundred and sixty part like last week, and they got like a crazy response. Finish line I'm calling them, they want a lot of orders. So like we, um, you know, I'm just starting to blow. So I think like six to six months to a year, I think you know, young to be on top. It'd be where I wanted to be at. Are there any other partnerships that you think you might want to pursue in the future, or something that I uh, you think uh, might blow up that you want to get in on before it does? Um, right now, Yom is what I got. I'm trying to think. Um, I want to do an energy drink, like a water or something like that. You know, like some crank that water or something like that. <laughs> crank that energy <laughs> drink. <laughs> Sweet. Well, you can follow in uh, 50s footsteps, I guess. Um, actually, speaking yeah, you could say that. Yeah. Speaking of 50, you said I that your uh, well, he's your label mate. You said that he inspired you. Um, have you ever reached out to collaborate with him or um, had the chance to meet him or perform with him or something? Yeah, um, actually, we we were in Canada last weekend. Me, 50 Cent, Lloyd Banks, Tony Yeo can make it. Uh, uh, we had a show in Edmonton and a show in Calgary. And, you know, those two shows were off the chain. Uh, I, the first show I performed at a baseball stadium. It was a real big uh, crowd, you know. And, um... That was those was the shows we did last week, and basically, you know, I ain't never reached out to do a song with them, cause I don't know how that sound like. Soul went fifty cent. Oh, I think that I don't know. That'd be crazy right there, but I ain't never reached out to them. You know, I ain't never thought about it. Cool. So just to wrap it up, um, do you hope people uh, learn about you or um, get from your next album, My Soldier Boy? Oh, uh, I want people to understand that I'm growing as an artist and. Basically, I'm still doing what I what I what I love to do. You know, hopefully you will get it. And if you don't, you won't. I mean, that's it. Y'all check me out on soulsbuttellum.com. Y'all can check out my new blogs. You know, I put up blogs like each and every day. And and you can check me out on YouTube. Go to youtube.com. Type in soulsboy. You can check out my videos. Well, thanks for taking the time out. I appreciate you talking with me. All right, you too, man. Have a good day. This boy, so I was a boy, tell him right now I'm logged in, checking out Kiwi Box. Oh my god.